Now vectors can be subtracted as well as added. And I'm going to show you this. First of all, you have a vector of r right here. You have a vector of s right here. Now notice vector of r is pointing upwards, but vector of s is pointing downwards. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to put r and s together so that we can find out what uh, the difference is between r and s. And we're going to do this by using Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 23. That's right, you're not escaping Euclid's elements when you're dealing with subtracting vectors. Okay, so we're going to duplicate R right here using Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 23. You notice I've used a pencil line to do the uh, Proposition 23. So now we've got R. Again, we're going to use Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 23. Draw a line. I'm going to duplicate S right here. And when we do, we're going to chain up R and S together. And when we do, we get the difference between R and S. And that's this line right here. And that's the way you do it with a triangle method. Now, in a short time, I'm going to show you how to, how to uh, add vectors using the par parallelogram method. And this is going to involve Euclid's book 30 through whatever. And you're going to see this. And... Uh, the reason why I'm holding off on this is because um, you haven't learned all about parallelograms yet in Euclid's Elements, but when you do, boom, we're going to show that to you too. Stay tuned.